Hello, my dear friends. How are you doing? My name is Arti, and thank you for joining in Mindseed Preschool and Daycare channel. The story for today is The Rabbit Becomes a Chef. Who's a chef? The chef is the one who cooks yummy, yummy food and serves it to everybody. Everybody likes it. And then they say, wow, yummy. We love this food. Yes. So this rabbit, let's see how he turns into a chef. Can rabbit cook? Hmm, let's see. So one day, this rabbit was sitting and thinking. He was wondering, I'm too bored of eating raw carrots. Now, what do rabbits eat? We thought they love eating carrots. But this rabbit, he's like, I don't feel like eating raw carrot every day. For breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for tea, for snacks. All the time, I'm just munching carrots. He was too bored of them. And he was thinking, what do I do to make it more yummy? What does mummy do to make it yummy? Who is having gajar ka halwa these days in winter? Mm, I love it. And it's so healthy also. But this poor rabbit, he didn't have a mummy who could give him some idea to cook yummy, yummy carrots. So... He decided to go and creeping, crawling quietly into the kitchen of the farmer who stayed next to the field. So he quietly one day peeped into the kitchen of the farmer. Something yummy was boiling on the gas. Mm. Ah, he could smell it and he was like, oh, wow, what if I can rush inside and quickly take a yummy, yummy bite? I want to lick it. But that very moment, who came? Wow, 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 wow. The dog, the farmer's dog was guarding the house. He came and... Rabbit ran away. Now again, Rabbit didn't have any idea to cook a better carrot meal. He thought and he thought and he wondered what to do. I do not have a gas. I do not have a microwave. I do not have an oven. How can I cook my carrots? So... He got some fire. He made fire and he roasted his carrot on top of it. But you know what happened? When you cook carrots directly on top of the fire, they became all burnt and they were bitter when the rabbit ate it. <laughs> he didn't like that at all. So he kept thinking while he was sleeping, while he woke up, he kept thinking, he got an idea. He thought, let me keep it all day under the big bright sun. So there he laid his carrot under the sun. But nothing happened in the evening when he thought of eating it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. They were still very hard and raw. He had to cook them some way. What to do? What to do? What to do? Then he got an idea. He found the hard shell of a tortoise. Now, do you all know that tortoise has a big hump and it hides inside its hump when we come close to it? Yes, that shell is the home of the tortoise. It's very hard. The hard shell of the tortoise. He got one 
And then he got some sticks, some branches of the tree. Yes, a lot of them from this tree, from that tree. And he placed them like we do for a bonfire. And on top of this, he laid the fire like this. Then on top of this fire, he laid the tortoise shell upside down. It became a ball. Then he decided to cut these carrots into pieces. Ah, ah see, he didn't have a knife. He doesn't have a kitchen in the farm or in the jungle, wherever he stays. He cut them open and put them all in the bowl. See? All in the bowl. And on the fire. Now they were roasting. He got some leaves and he sprinkled them. Like how we put coriander leaves when we have to make food. It gives a lovely taste and a fragrance. So he put all of that and he thought, yummy, now my food really smells nice. I will not have to eat these raw carrots anymore. He licked it. He again licked it. Wow. He still cooked it under the fire. And then it became lovely. It came out to be the best carrot meal. And then you know what? He called all his friends for dinner. Yes, there came the mouse who likes to nibble food all the time. Nom, 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 nom. Then the kitty cat. She also came yeah, to eat some yummy carrots. Then came the goose and the rooster and also the hen. They all had a lovely party of the yummy, yummy carrots. Munch, munch, munch. They all clapped for the rabbit and said, you are the best chef in our farm. That's the yummiest meal we have had. The rabbit was so happy. He said that this is the way he's going to cook all his meals every day. He would not have to have any more raw carrots. So this was the story of the rabbit who became a chef. Do you also like to cook? Do you help mama and daddy in the kitchen? Does daddy come in the kitchen to help mama? So on Sunday evening, why don't you decide to prepare some yummy meal with your family and have a great time? Let me know in the comment box what did you make. Till then, I'll see you next week. Goodbye.